And here we go. Sheik versus Mario. Jaxus versus Churro. A truly legendary matchup. And we are ready to fight. Here we go. The stage has been selected at random. Getting down into a cheap Mario. Here we go. Mario already spamming with those bombs, trying to get a little bit of early damage. He's able to get about 9%. Not really anything to speak of with those. Nice backslide. Oh, Sheik lands a nice auto attack combo. That's going to deal 28%, 36%, excuse me. But the return from Mario is equally as devastating to Sheik, even throughout the board here. 58 now on Mario. Beautiful jump kick combo there. Three times in a row by Sheik to not take a single damage. Mario with a nice shield, but it doesn't matter. Sheik's going to land two, three, four attacks there. Mario's up to 80% and the beautiful jabs. The jabs from Sheik are going to bring that around. Jaxus showing true proficiency with this champion. He knows exactly the limits. The dodge there. He's constantly, constantly on the move. The fireballs shields both fire. All three. Three for three. But the fourth one will indeed hit Jaxus as he goes up. But he goes for an up smash. It doesn't quite land. Ooh, look at that kick. 100% now on Mario. Very easily could be KO'd. Sheik, of course, having uh, fairly few finishing moves. Looking for that close combat to constantly, constantly, constantly have the uh, percentage advantage on Mario. Mario, on the other hand, looking for lots of big plays and big combos. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable. He just gips him off the edge. Beautiful, superb champion mastery right there from Sheik. Sheik now only on 59%, looking to beat up on Mario a little bit more in this close combat. Mario up to 20%, but Sheik himself is going to get a little bit higher in the percentages here. But he's still got to stock up, so it's not that important. Oh, look at that beautiful back kick. And the platforms are going to come back. It's going to offer a few more options for Sheik. Oh, look at that. A beautiful kick by Mario. Both are going to recover. They attempted Gimp, but not going to work. Going right through that. Mario. Beautiful shield. Oh, but look at that. Sheik's going to get absolutely annihilated with that kick. But remember, it is this down to their last stocks. Mario's on 70% However, The advantage entirely lies with Jagas on his Sheik. Mario's going to make that recovery. I didn't think he would, but that's very good. That could have been the end there. Nice double jump and an upward B is going to save him from that. Mario now at 100%. Sheik sitting comfortably at 4%. Everything right now is up to Sheik. Can he land the combos? Can he avoid getting comboed overly hard? He's just got to land those few skill shots, and that's going to be a large attack going over. Oh, oh, but look at that. Mario's thrown wide from the stage, but he makes the comeback. Unbelievable. Fantastic recovery from Chiro there. Coming back on the ledge. Oh, nice kick right at the face of Mario. He's going to throw him off the ledge just a little bit. Slides underneath the box. Beautiful shield combo. Terrible shield from both of them. Blocking those abilities. Mario using the shield. Is that going to be it? That's going to be game. Game one goes over to Jagas. Now it's important, important to see now. It's always important to see in the middle if there's going to be any changes in the characters they choose. Obviously, Sheik was very dominant of not only the platform, but of the air combat there. He was uh, really avoiding getting hit using the mobility, which normally Mario would be um, fairly decent for responding to that with lots of quick attacks, but he was unable to this time around. Uh, maybe uh, maybe Chiro decides to stick with that and say, I can beat this still. I mean, obviously we saw Robert, but no, he's going to switch it up. He's going to go to the villager. That's going to be interesting. I do not believe I've seen this matchup before, so a little new to me, Chiro is indeed going to be playing the villager. Look at that, she's everywhere, all over the place, already up to 70%. But Villager, look at that beautiful auto combo, gonna get a few chunks in there. But a nice combo grabs, managed to get a few hits in there against the Chiro. But up to 52% and off the edge, but a nice recovery. Attempted Gimp, not gonna work. Please call the Sheriff's Office, there's been an attempted Gimp. Not gonna work that time either, but Villager up to 75% and... No! Uses the balloons to come back from the edge. Absolutely brilliant recovery by Churro there. Sheik. Ooh, Sheik gets thrown up in the air a little bit. Oh, down to 50% now as he takes more and more damage. Villagers can still come back from this. 
Doesn't have to use his arrow. It's going to hit him with a nice attack. Kicks to the face. That's going to take up to 80%. The massive comeback right there. 100 to 80%. Each player could KO the other one almost with ease at this point. Oh, look at that. He bags it and throws him out, but it's not going to be enough. Sheik's going to stay alive. Indeed, on the platform is... No. Not quite a KO. Villager now at 116%. Can he make the comebacks here? He's only down a little bit. If he lands a good combo onto Jaxus, it could very well be over, and there it goes, but not quite enough, is it? No, again, another beautiful attack, looking to take this 2-1-1, but no, Sheik with that beautiful hit. That's gonna be annihilation in the nation. Lots of damage, but he bags him. He bags him and throws him. Is that gonna be a... No, Sheik makes it back onto the platform. Trees coming up everywhere. This guy loves his garden where he farms Sheik. Oh, and that's going to be first KO going over to Churro. Churro has made a slight comeback. He has the advantage now, but he's over 126%. He's so easy to KO at this point. But of course, Sheik is going to have trouble. Sheik's only at 24%. Sheik trying to find that finishing move. Oh, no way! Sheik! Absolutely, and there's the Spash from Village, Villager Town, a stalk now as well as Sheik as it comes into the most tense moments, they're both in the 30s on percentage, this is going to be exciting as we come through, Sheik needs to secure the kill here in order to maintain his digits and win the 2-0, oh look at that beautiful combo all over the air, Churro takes a huge amount of damage but responds with just as much as he's given. And Sheik, once again, attempts that combo, but gets joined at the very end. Villager, of course, trying to win this one to bring it about game three. Look at those shields by Sheik. He's expecting that. He's trying to bait him into something here. I'm not sure exactly what, but it's going to be purely epic. They both only have one stalk. This is so vital. Look at that combo. Oh, so good. But the shield on that, is it going to be enough? He goes for the kick. He's not going to get the kick, but he is going to shield that one. Oh, attempted Gimp once again. 92% now for Chiro. 84% for Jaxus. This could be the massive comeback or the massive letdown, just depending on what happens next. Oh, look at that electrification. He goes up. He's looking for the air combo. He's not going to get it. Sheik's going wide, but he's going to come right back onto it. Oh, but he's hit again. Is this going to be a stop going? And Chiro comes back on the platform. Such a beautiful recovery from the villager. 105% Alpha Villager, 97% for Sheik. This is indeed a close match. So very easy to lose for either person here. Oh, look at that. The net comes through, but it's not going to be enough. Sheik looking for a massive combo here to get him out and off the thing. Shiro's going to have to burn his recovery. Sheik likewise uses the recovery to tip that. Oh! It's Sheik gets blown up! That's going to be game! Game two! goes over to Churro. The massive comebacks. Correct selection in changing around the character he chooses to bring us to game three. Surely we are seeing some of the greatest matches here today. We're going to see if there's any change up going into game three, the make it or break it game. As we saw, Jax is having a little bit of trouble securing that, even though he had high percentage and was ahead in percentage all game long had a bit of a problem securing those KOs in order to get those stalks eliminated. We're going to see if he picks someone with perhaps a little more uh, kill pressure. Zero Suit Seamus. We saw that picked in the previous game and played all right through by Robear. And indeed, he came in clutch. Looks like Falco is going to be for Churro. Churro's looking, looking to play Falco in D. <laughs> We might, and that's going to be it. That's going to be the lock-in. The lock-in is Jaxus is going to be playing. I've forgotten already. <laughs> oh, please excuse my forgetfulness. Uh, he's going to be playing Zero Suit Seamus, and uh, Chiro's going to be playing Falco. They go right into it. Oh, Falco takes a few combos immediately up to 16. 24% in the last game here. Oh, look at that beautiful combo. 50%. Just instantaneous, and Zero Suit has taken zero damage. Look at the dexterity from this champion. Look at the amount. Oh, but the grab from Falco is not going to result in too much. Oh, nice sweep kick, and that's going to return it. Look at that air combo. He keeps him in the air, and that's going to be a huge attack. 91% for Falco. Has it all gone horribly wrong for Churro, or is this simply part of a greater scheme? We will have to see.
as Chiro gathers himself, lands a nice little combo onto Seamus. Seamus, excuse me. Both going for the edge guarding. Falco up to 105%. And Jaxus, he's again looking to just dominate this with small bursts of fighting. He goes for it. He goes over the top, but that's going to land on the head. That's going to be smash. Stock one goes over. Falco down to his final stock. And Jaxus is on 45%, but he's getting comboed like nobody's business. He's small fight. He's losing so bad. Look at that beautiful combo on the part of Chiro. Oh, but the smash there it could bring Falco up to 26%. But at the same time, we have to remember, she, <laughs> pardon me, Jaxus is up a stalk, but he's up to 80% damage. He could be KO'd almost at any time. Falco just looking for the proper moment. Oh, look at that beautiful downward kick. It's going to bring Falco. They're both up in the air. Nothing happens. It's unbelievable. There is no kill secured there. Indeed, Falco playing in the water. Going to knock. Going to knock Jaxus a little bit off the stage. Jaxus up to 93% now, but he's making that difference. Falco's at 76%. Look at this. This could go either way. Both are entirely KO-able. Oh, and look, there goes. They go for the aerial. No one makes a move, but they're just playing it too safe. They don't want to give it up. There's so much on the line right now. Falco's out. No, pardon me. Jaxus gets KO'd. 88% now on Falco. Can he survive long enough to KO? This is indeed a high pressure scenario. Can he make this? He has to fight those small fights, but he needs to also look for the big ones because he can afford to get KO'd. He's got to play so safe right now. Both on the final. Oh, look at that beautiful combo. Gonna add a little 10%, but that's game! That's game! And Jaxus takes it to game three and wins with a beautiful kick against Chiro. Absolutely, that mechanical skill, the technical skill from Jaxus showing both with the uh, Zero Suit and with Sheik. Very capable, no real problem at all. Simply fabulous plays we have seen today, twice going to game three. Let's see what else this tournament holds in store for us. Yeah.